Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have you in the tier 10 Soviet double-barreled heavy tank. It is the ST2. So, um, yeah. In this encounter battle on Sand River against some tier 9 vehicles, he's gonna go with Bounty Hardening, a Bounty Turbo, and some Bond Vents with a directive event directive, actually. So, um, I guess, I guess, yeah, you really loves the SD2, as you can see, with three marks of an excellence already. Maybe I'm trying to go for the 100%. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but yeah. But anyway, let's see what this Soviet double-barreled beast of a tank can do. I mean, I'm saying a beast of a tank, but it's usually not really that impressive. I mean, you can get good games, obviously. That's kind of like something you do with every vehicle but when people talk about the meta vehicles in world of tanks this is not one of them this is definitely not one of them because you know you can get penned in this upper part of the hull weak lower plate you have a capola it's like it has too many weak spots right to become a meta vehicle but the double barrel is fun and you can fire one you can fire two there we go putting one putting two into the shot for tier four and with those lovely 122 millimeter shells 440 uh, alpha damage you can do quite a bit of damage i mean if you double people you know you can do 880 damage with that double barrel which is awesome also have some heat rounds you know 310 millimeters of heat round penetration is is always nice to have i guess um on your heavies you know considering like vehicles like the seven have 303 if i'm not mistaken millimeters of apc pen. um so having 310 heat is always always nice to have on your st2 but yeah you is going to hopefully show you how much fun it is to double a bit and like why you should fight single as well there we go because if you miss you can have another one, you can have another swing, right? So you do need to figure out when to double, when to single, and uh, yeah, the video is going to show you exactly how it is done. Putting one more into the shaft for turn four. Like, if you just go for the doubles here, ricocheting off the upper plate of the shaft, I guess. Um, but if you just go for the doubles and you miss, you're just locked out of combat for 20 something seconds, right? So sometimes it is better to just fire once, fall back, wait for the reload, fire again, fall back, you know, play like a regular vehicle. Um, but then there are going to be those situations where the double is better, and we will get to those situations later in the video. Um, so yeah, you fighting against an alien, which is the M5Y. I'm trying to go through the Capola on top of that vehicle, but like... When the M5Y shoots and then raises the gun, it kind of hides the weak spot, so... Um, it is difficult to go after those vehicles. Then we go trying to double trying to find the Yank Tiger, maybe trundling forth. But no Yank Tiger to be found. Waiting for the reload here. Waiting for something to happen. And is that 705A going to push forward? There we go. 899 HP. We have 880. Alpha in the double and 765. <sighs> so, yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't, you know, high roll gave us an awesome kill with the double over here, but it just shows you the potential of the double barrel. Like, imagine if it high rolled a little bit and that 75A would have died. And there we go, Yank Tiger on 600 HP. Instead of a one f shell waiting 10 seconds, you just double and you finish off the Yank Tiger with one shot two shells type of thing right so in this situation it is definitely better to double um when they are kind of a two shot right when they're on the 600 hp 700 800 hp range and you can just finish them off with a double you should do that you should try to double them because like taking out the guns out of the game is the best thing that you can do in world of tanks a lot of people think, oh, more damage is better. No. Unless you're actually going for the marks, like I always say. If you go for the mark of excellence, do your thing. Do your thing. But if you just want to win the battle, the best thing to do is to focus down the low HP vehicles. Always, always clean up the kills. So if your enemy, if your allies leave the enemy on, let's say, 10 HP, 
and you can double someone for 800 but you leave them on another 800 HP, you should just fire at the person with the 10 HP, right? Get the kill, reduce their numbers, and then it's easier to do more damage to the other vehicles. And a lot of people just think, we want damage, we're going to do it now. That actually missed the IU, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, focus fire is extremely important in this game. I should always, always secure kills when you can. Okay, so you in this battle up to 4,000 damage already. Already with a couple of kills. But you know, this battle is still far from over. There we go, double into the shot for 2 over here. Unfortunately, the shot just stopped. <laughs> it happened so much, I hate it. Oh no. Um, so only one shell actually hit the shot in the hull. The second one hit probably the um, the back part of the shot, you know, the part that doesn't count as part of the armor. But there we go, the campaigns of 50T overextends and dies. Uh, three kills, 4,600 damage so far. It's still a pretty close game. Uh, the enemy team is leading by one vehicle. Can you clutch the RU? Can clutch the RU. And one uh, kill. Did I say one kill, 2,000 HP? I said one kill and 2,000 HP. Anyway, another clutch into the RU? No. The 100, unfortunately, is going to fall. Um, you know, in this fight against the enemy E100 and the 60 TP. It's not going to work. But there we go. The Shah. The Shah. Why is it? It's an RU Bafish. It is an RU. What are you talking about? I don't even know. Missing, unfortunately, <laughs> the IU-251. I'm still stuck with the shaft from earlier, right? The one that dodged the shell. But you is now alone in this dip against the 60 TP, a E-100, and a shaft which uh, And that 60 TP is deadly. It is a very deadly vehicle, that 750 alpha damage gun. Absolutely crazy. Trying to catch the 60 TP, unfortunately, the 60 TP fires and falls back over here. Do, can you actually go through the... I guess you can go through um, the cupola of the 60 TP and the turret of the E100. I mean, it is heat time. It is heat time. Like I said, 310 heat penetration is going to be enough most of the time to go through the E100's turret if it's flat, flat on, head on. Uh, but as soon as E100 kind of turns, angles the turret, it's going to be difficult to go through that vehicle. Anyway. Anyway, we still have a Minotauro, a T95 towards the south, two very strong, very dangerous vehicles on our side, defending, helping you over here against those tier 10 heavies. What is you going to do then? We get a 62. This this might have been good with a double. You went with the single. I've got you another one. Unfortunately, getting hit in the turret by the 60 TP, losing 734 HP. You never want to get hit by 60 TP, but I mean, it does give you the opportunity to finish off that very dangerous tier 10 Polish heavy tank. And like I said, you always, always, always need to secure those kills. I mean. If you can take one hit when you're on 1,800 HP, that will leave you on 1,100 HP, but you will take out that enemy 60 TP. I believe you should take it in most cases. I mean, not every single time, but in a lot of cases, you should sacrifice a bit of your HP to take away guns from the enemy team, right? Okay, so this game is as close as it can get. 8, 8, 77 HP difference. And the enemy team is trying to cap 45 seconds left on the cap over here. And now it is time. It is time to go forth and defend the base. Try to def- okay, I guess the enemy decided to defend the base themselves. Um, did they leave the cap or did they get hit? I don't even know. Maybe a blind fire actually hit them. But there we go, the FE-45 is for trying to double the FE-45. And actually hitting for 877 damage against that very dangerous tier 10 British tank destroyer. That vehicle actually has the highest um, alpha damage inside World of Tanks with 1750 damage with those hitch rounds if they pen, of course. Finishing off the Leopard PTA, of course. Aston Vista Baby, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I don't really like the Terminator Commander, from being honest. Anyway, that's that's a whole different topic. We're not going to go into that. Um, but yeah, E100 fired. This is this is where you just go forwards and you double him right. Put a couple into the low plate, finish him off. And actually going with one shell? 
can reload in time before the 100 reloads? Yes, indeed, and getting the kill. So I guess it was more like um, the safer option, right? Firing one, see if that one goes through. Fire another one. If it doesn't go through, you can pull back, wait for the reload, um, and then double later if you need to. So I guess you actually made the correct choice. I made the mistake here. Well played. And now, and now we're in the lead, uh, up by 3,000 HP, and up by... Never mind, not up by a kill anymore because the 261 shut down the M103. Oh no. But there we go, there's that heavy 405. There it is. You can actually go with an HE. You don't need the HE anymore, but you could have gone with an HE around here to finish off that very lightly armored British tank destroyer. And yeah, seven kills. I'm gonna get the IU. Unfortunately, can't get the IU 251. Being the cheeky, being sneaky over there in the south area of the map. And that 261 with 400 damage, that's not good. Is the IU gonna push up again? Is it going to try and flank? The eye pushes up again and dies, getting hit in the face by you. Up to 8 kills, up to 9,409 damage. That we've seen. That we've seen, of course. Now, even though I don't think there have been any blind shots inside this battle. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to wait and see, I guess. But two enemies remaining. 8 kills. You know what that means. You know what this means. It means we need those kills for the pools. We want the 10 kills of the pool's medal. Um, I mean, actually saw the 705A is actually low on health. So maybe a switch to HE here would have been better. You need to one-shot the 261 instead of having to double the 261. And then, you know, if it's the 705A that is spotted, you might actually be able to finish them off with HE only. But you is going to go with heat over here, trying to find the 261, trying to find the 705A. There's the 261 spotted towards our north, doubling the 261. Can get it in time? Yes, indeed. Nine kills, finishing off that tier 10 Soviet self-propelled gun. Okay, so this is this is a win, right? It's like 90% chance a win. T95 is healthy, Waffenchung is healthy, 705A is a one-shot, but no time. The cap is going. We want the kill. Only one AP shell remaining. There we go. There's a 7857. Six. Five. Must connect. Must pay it. <laughs> connect and it pens. Getting the 10th kill. Securing that pools medal over here. And uh, going over the 10k mark. I mean, it's, it's just such a fun shot to have. You know, probably very stressful. I mean, not in terms of winning and losing, but in terms of uh, personal records, you know, getting 10 kills and 10k damage in the same battle is always, always, always lovely. So yeah, you just showing you. Sometimes you should double, sometimes you shouldn't double. To double or not to double, that is a question. And you answered the question perfectly. Going with single when needed, going with double when needed, and yeah, when you do that, when the enemy team just drives in front of you like the Yang Tiger did earlier, like the Sony 5 did a couple of times, and just everything falls into place. You have these amazing games, even in vehicles that are not considered meta, that are not considered very strong, like the ST2. Um, yeah, GG, well played. Let's go and check out the post-game stats. There we go, Ace Tanker, of course, for the 1,836 base experience and um, a pool's medal, like I said, for the 10 kills. Tank sniper, actually, for causing a lot of damage from a distance of 300 meters or more. Um, which is kind of surprising every time we get it with a Russian heavy tank, I guess. Um, steel wall for blocking 2,880 damage. That was a short attempt by the enemy team. I guess high caliber, of course, for 10,019 HP. Whenever you get 10k, I mean, you know you did something right and by something i mean everything my goodness um top gun for six kills or more and yeah 10k is always nice to see i mean those five figures are just so juicy so delicious so perfect uh 36 shots fired 31 hits 29 pens which is rather surprising you know hitting so many shells penetrating so many shells and um, a lot of times heavies like to brawl you know when you brawl with each other uh, you will bounce a lot of shells, you will miss a lot of shells, but actually, Bu was able to hit, was able to pen most shells, so very well put, very well uh, uh, aimed, well played, good marksmanship by you. I mean, the two shells that didn't go through, actually against two Sharfage Falls, one bounced right on the, um, the upper hull of the one further away, and then the double that actually hit 
the bucket at the back, whatever it is at the back of the Sharpie Tier 4 that isn't counted as armor. Anyway, I'm, I'm taking this video into a different direction. 10,000 damage, 4,888 of this once from a distance of 300 meters or more. Awesome sniping, I guess, by you. Not something you see every day with your Russian Heavy. 13 hits received, only 4 penetrated, so at the start I said this vehicle doesn't actually have good armor. But I guess, I guess it can bounce when you need it to. I guess it can bounce, blocking 2,880 damage, uh, spotting three enemy vehicles, and getting 1,035 damage with the player's assistance, so that is always nice to get. 11k combined, 12 vehicles damage, 10 of those destroyed, getting the pulse medal. Uh, but because it is a tier 10 vehicle, because it did fire quite a bit of gold, right? Once ran out of those regular rounds, lose some credits, only 21,000 though, so we are cool with that. I mean, like I always say, I would rather lose 20,000 credits and get a 10,000 damage game and a pulse medal than actually having a bad game and earning 20,000 credits, I guess. But yeah, GG, well played, awesome game by you in the ST2, showing how good they are in that vehicle. I had three marks. Hopefully, that was the 100% game. Um, if that is what they're going for. But yeah, GG, well played you. Amazing game with the double-barreled ST2. But this is it for this video. Um, let me know in the comments, what do you think of the ST2? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Good? Not good? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts, your opinions, and as always, thank you so much for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Tatas, have a good one, people!